And then before we know it, there's another situation where we're being called to help someone or we feel like we're in the wilderness with no specific direction again or there's some sort of crisis. And Jesus says to us, who have known God moving through our lives in the past, Jesus says, you give them something to eat, meaning lean back on your faith again. Let go and see how God takes over. Let, let, let's see what God will do in you and through you this time. And we say, nope, sorry Jesus, don't have any faith on hand, only carry credit cards now, you know, just don't, sorry. And Jesus pushes us, but back there, back there, little ways, you did it. You were telling me how you were living on faith, how you made a difference by following God, how you trusted and things fell into place, how you noticed prayers being answered and prayer having an impact. And we say, nope, sorry, Jesus, that show was one night only. It's over. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some worrying to do because things are really bad right now. That's fine, Jesus says. But let me show you where you can go if you change your mind, or if you think you want to rekindle the faith you had, or sustain the faith that I know you have. And Jesus takes what's hanging around, a few loaves of bread and some fish, gives thanks, breaks the loaves, and shares them with us. And we start to eat. And then we think, wait a minute, is this communion? Is this, is this communion? Now, how does, how does that work? Are you telling us we should go to the table in a crisis? How's the table supposed to sustain and strengthen us? We get such little pieces of bread. There's no calorie content in that little piece of bread. And Jesus says, open yourself to God's presence. Open yourself to my living presence. I'm in the bread. I'm in the Welches, giving you strength to trust even more deeply that God is with you and moving in your life. I'm in the bread. I'm in the Welches, nurturing you and nourishing you so that you can allow God to work through you and do the work that God wants done in the world. I'm in the bread. I'm in the Welches, assuring you of the grace that affirms your humanness, celebrates your gifts, and accepts your weaknesses and your failings so that you can get on about the business of living. All that from bread and Welches, we ask? Yes. Jesus says. And there's an abundance of those gifts. There will always be strength for faith and strength for living the realm of God in the world. And there will always be grace and forgiveness, unexpected things, doors opening when we are sure that all doors are locked tight. This loaves and fishes story says many things. But one thing I think it's saying is that even in a crisis of faith, the table is the place to go to have our faith renewed, to have it sustained, to find the assurance of grace that we need. We go to the table because Christ is there, and we go with thanksgiving and with open hearts that faith might be found again, that faith may be strengthened to serve us in our living and to serve every person and part of the world that we touch. May it be so. Thanks be to God. Amen.